Hey everyone, Maggie's DIY here and in today's video we are going to talk and do some sewing. I realize since we are going to be doing some kind of sewing in some of the DIY projects that are upcoming, I might as well introduce some sewing, simple sewing techniques or stitches. So I will teach you the five basic sewing stitches that anyone can do and they will come in handy whether you are doing your own clothes or you're working professionally in the fashion industry. So we'll start with the most basic one, which is tacking or basting. Then we have the more permanent one called backstitch. We have an overlay stitch. This is a bit tight. And then this is the same overlay, but this. Then we have an overlay. This is tighter. And this is a bit loose but it is still the same stitch and then we have hemming and then we have another hemming it is quite concealed but I will show you how you do this then I have a bonus stitch which is the button stitch so let's start with the most basic you will need needles you can take whichever size you want some are very thin and short like this one and then you have very long ones like this so you choose whichever you want and then you're going to need whatever color of sewing thread that your fabric needs if you want it to show you can take a contrasting color if you want it not to show then you take one that matches the fabric's color you might need pins just so that you can staple the pieces that you want to join together temporarily like this that holds the pieces together so that they don't come off when you're making your sewing stitch so the first stitch we are going to do is the temporary one that is the tacking or basting stitch and it looks the same on both sides it is very loose and it is used to hold the pieces of fabric together you can easily remove it by just pulling on the knot or one end of the thread. So this is how it's done. Take the two pieces of fabric that you want to join together. Here are my pieces. So this is the right side and this is the inside or the wrong side. So you need to make sure that you match both sides like this. So what you do is place the right sides together like this and then you do your stitch that means that when you're done and you turn your work inside out then you're going to have some neat work so you take your needle insert your sewing thread i am using contrasting colors so that you can see what i'm doing so you make a knot on one end you can make on both strands like this or just one it doesn't matter because it is just a temporary stitch and you'll get rid of it so take your right sides paste them together and then see you've already made your knot so you will insert your needle through both fabrics onto the other side and then onto this side then you pull like that see how it looks like so it does not matter how close this gap is or how big it is so you can do the same insert the needle through the fabric to the other side sorry insert here it is then again to the other side so that is it if you want to be faster you can just do several and then pull your thread like that so basically that is it the next sewing stitch I will show you is the back stitch. It is used to join fabrics more permanently. 
So this is how it will look like on the right side or on one side and on the underside or the wrong side this is how it looks like and then we will turn it this is how it looks like it should actually not be visible so if i had used blue then this will be nice so i'll show you how it's done you thread your needle don't make your your sewing thread too long because then it's going to be and we sense. So I'll trim mine. With this one, you do not need to make a knot. So allow me to use the same fabric, color, and thread so that you can see what I am doing. But otherwise, if I was doing this for real, I would use blue so that it is not visible or black. So if you want to make a straight stitch, you can make use of a pen and draw a straight line like that and if you like you can join your pieces together with pins so that they don't come off so i have pinned my garment or you can make use of the temporary stitch that we had talked about. So I have my needle and my thread. You insert your needle there. See on this other side. Then there to that side. And you pull. You leave some bit of thread hanging. Then you go back to the initial hole. Here you insert your needle then you pass this and then your needle comes out just past where your thread came from so there so even if you pull this it's not going to come off it's tight so you can cut this if you want so you go back to the initial hole there you pass this like that and here you go so basically you repeat the process it's called a back stitch because you're always going back one hole and it is usually done with a single strand of sewing thread but if you like you can do with it too so you see how once you get used to this, you can do it very fast. There it is. And this is how it looks like on this side. So that is the second stitch. My third sewing stitch is the overlay. And it's it can be used to join two pieces of fabrics or do some kind of decoration like this side was already joined but I did an overlay to decorate it and I can do the same here I will show you how it's done but we are going to use it for joining these two pieces of fabric on my pillow together so because this is loose and it does not look nice and if you leave it like this all the stuff that is in is going to come out so you just fold this like that and then this end nicely like that but you still want to get rid of this so you can hem just a bit here like that and then on top of that remember our pins you can use your pins to join this temporarily so this is where we need to do our overly stitch it is mostly used uh, when you have very heavy fabrics 
that will not do well with such a stitch or the back stitch. So I will use black thread because I want to show you how I did this here. So what you do, thread your needle here, then make a knot on this end. There I go. So what you do is this. This side and that. You can go from right to left or left to right. It doesn't really make a difference. It looks good as long as you go in one direction. Then here. Again. Then and you're done. So if you have set legs, nice. So if you want it to be uniform, make sure that the distance is equal otherwise you're going to get something like what i got here so to make sure that this end is concealed push it in nicely like that and then take your needle there join both pieces together There you are. So all you need to do to finish this stitch is go back to the same hole and then you can make a knot. So there. So that is quite loose. Almost like this. So here we are, I have my white thread, make a knot, then take, so I will make very, a very small gap in between the threads. You can make a few loose stitches and then you pull your thread let me do one more then pull see it already falls and it is looking like this so you basically continue with this small steps And then every time you make sure that you pull or you tighten your sewing thread. So repeat that until the end. So this is used for decoration. This stitch, the overly stitch is used for decoration as well as for joining pieces together like this. So you can decorate. If you had a nice pillow like this one and you wanted to put some black or brown or some very conspicuous color you just use the same technique all around and your pillow is going to look nice or if you had for instance a small print you wanted to attach like this
So the fourth sewing stitch will be the hemming stitch. This is how it looks like on the inside and on the outside. So I had this one and I had the very invisible one. So in both, this is how you do it. You take your hem, you fold twice. One, two, so that it looks like this. If you like, you can pin this so that it does not get loose. And then I'll get another pin. So just to make sure that everything is okay. There. So this is how the pinned one looks like. So I will also fold this for the invisible seam. So I'll also pin this. And this. So we start with this one, the one that is a bit visible. So I'll still use contrasting colors so that you can see what I am doing. So with the first one, make sure your needle is threaded and you have made a knot on the other end of your sewing thread. So this is how your seam will look like. So you insert 